All month long, we've been sharing stories of strong and inspirational women who deserve a little extra recognition. And today we have the story of an Natomas High School teacher offering students the technical skills to roll toward a successful career. Intercom High School's resident bike tech instructor, L Steele, is with us this morning to share more about the career courses she teaches in what's typically a male dominated role. Hi, L. Good morning. Good morning and thanks for being here. How long have you loved bikes and when did you decide to pursue a future with bike technology? Um, I've loved bikes since before I can remember. Uh, bikes I have always said are in my genes. My mom actually rode her bike across the country when she was 20 years old. Wow. And some of my earliest fondest memories are just squeaking around the neighborhood with my dad on a tricycle and then um, going up to two wheels. So it's just been forever. Um, I didn't get a lot of chances to ride when I was growing up. So uh, it wasn't until I moved to college that I really got into biking. Mm -hmm. And then I've been working in the bike industry probably for about a decade. And I've done everything like retail and rentals and advocacy. Uh, I worked from bike to a bike mechanic and taught traffic school, uh, skills all around the, the country, actually. Um, so when this position became available, I was like, oh, it's a way to combine all of these different roles that I've done in my life and share them with the next generation of, of students. Well, it sounds like they then, found the right woman for that role. What are some of the things you teach um, in bicycle technology? So we focus, like a lot of people just think, oh, bikes, you ride them. But we focus on bike mechanics. We also do riding techniques, but we also talk a lot about career skills and some of that overlap. Uh, so some days we're working on bikes, we're getting our hands dirty. Some days we're going out for rides, getting some fresh air, feeling the wind in our, on our faces. Um, and some days we might be practicing public speaking or job interview techniques. And so what I really love is this class can be really dynamic. And um, I'm not somebody who sits still for very long periods of time. So, you know, my students are a lot like that too. We can get up, we can move around, we can use our brains in a different way. Um, and I can really tailor this class to what my students are interested in. So if they're not spandex, road cyclist competitives, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, maybe they're into tricks and BMX and, and different types of bikes like that. So I like to combine it all and find out what they're interested in, what they want to learn about. That's pretty cool. You might not immediately think of, you know, bikes and the bicycle industry as like a career path, but, you know, clearly there are a lot of things they can learn. What, what are the skills that they're getting that they can use towards that type of career? Well, there's so much overlap in, I mean, there's health and anatomy, there's engineering, there's fabrication, um, there's so many different ideas and ways to incorporate bikes into all these different fields and um, you know, staying active, having these basic life skills of being able to, to turn a wrench. Um, I feel like that's just something that everybody should know. Very cool. And so um, one of the things that you do is this bike milkshake lesson. You're gonna have to tell us about it. We'll roll the video. Fabulous. That is one of my favorite lessons. And that's a great example of the way that we can combine different um, aspects of cycling. So they're literally turning their own personal kinetic energy into something tangible, <laughs> um, hopefully also something delicious. And we even have the, the company sent me another uh, type of stand that they have. So we have the milkshake blender bike and we mm -hmm. also have an actual um generator bike so they can pedal and they can charge their phone or their their laptop so <laughs> i'm sure they like that they're gonna have to work for it um but it's something that they can see their own personal power turning into something different and it's just all that wrapped into this amazing vehicle that is the bicycle that is pretty cool and they're also burning some of that teenage energy that we all wish we had right so this is typically <laughs> a more male dominated type of realm why is it important for you to encourage both males and females to have these skills again it's i feel like they're life skills i mean usually biking is a child's first experience with independence and freedom and adventure and self-sufficiency and there's fewer opportunities these days and so learning how to fix their bikes, getting a chance to ride, that's just another layer of independence that they need growing up. Um, mechanical abilities, like that's just necessary for everyone. So knowing righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, 
that'll take you pretty far in life. And then we go a little bit deeper and we want to make sure we know what's reverse threaded, how much torque to use, you know, how to choose the right tool for the job. Um, but, you know, that's, that's just something that's encompassed in all different fields of people's lives and no matter what job they go into. Well, I have to say, Elle, you've definitely opened up my mind to like kind of when you think about it, yeah, this could lead to so many different career fields. And I think, number one, it's so cool that they offer this in high school because they definitely didn't have it at my high school. And it's even more cool that there's a female leading the way. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing this with us. For more about the CTE programs, you can visit natomasunified.org CTE.